Okay, here's a, I'm going to do number four. Um, first, I'm going to start by graphing these. So e to the x squared minus one, and then sine of x squared plus 0 0.5. So zoom six, hopefully we can see it. Remember, you might have to adjust the window if you can't see the functions now. Yeah, this one is going to be, we're going to have to zoom in here to see what's going on. Let's just try zoom in. And there's the e to the x squared minus 1. And then here's the sine function. And we can see this kind of mouth looking region is, we're going to take that region and rotate it 360 around the x axis. And so we're going to use that formula. Um, but we also have to combine the boundaries um, method. So we take that one on top minus the one on bottom. So the sine function is on top, the e to the x is on the bottom. So we're going to have to find from here to here, we're going to have to find the intersection points. So second calc intersect, first curve, second curve, guess. Let's click over here. That's going to be negative 0.891. So I'm going to write that point down. That's going to be in our integral, negative 0.891. And then the other point, first curve, second curve, guess. Looks pretty symmetric. This is going to be positive 0.891. And it's important I'm writing down the x coordinates, not the y coordinates because we're rotating around the x-axis. So then the pi goes here. We have to take, let's call this y1 and this y2. We're going to take y1 minus y2 and square the whole thing because, um, yeah, this one is on top and this one is on the, oh, I'm sorry. Let's check that. No, the sine wave was on top. So we're going to do the other way around this time y2 minus y1. Okay, so what we're going to type into the calculator, um, this is going to be pretty complicated because nothing's really going to simplify. Like if we, y2 is like this, and if we subtract, we could get plus 1, minus this and plus that, but um, you could also type it in like this, sine x squared plus 0 0.5 minus the whole thing like this. But we're going to have to put big parentheses around the whole thing and square when we, when we plug it in. So this one, the hardest part is really like typing it into the calculator. Um, and um, so be very careful. I'm going to start with parentheses, and I'm going to do it this way. So sine x squared, close those parentheses, plus 0 0.5, then minus, minus e to the x squared, close that parenthesis, and then plus 1, and then close, and then square. Okay, now I have to put, say, comma, respect to x, and then I have to put the boundaries, negative 0.891 to positive 0.891. Okay, and then I'm going to do the pi after this, so times pi, and we get about 1.04. Very, very small volume, 1.04, let's just say units cubed. Okay, let's look at that again. That's a very small volume. Uh, and remember, we zoomed in on this. So if I zoom back out, it kind of makes sense that it's a very, very small region to begin with. And then even if we rotate it, it's not going to be very much space. 